Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self Learning Tutorials. Well, this is a beginner course and this is a first tutorial for the free CAD tutorials for the beginners. And then this tutorial, the basically thing that we will be discussing, the very first thing that is required is the installation procedure that from where we can download this software free CAD and what are the necessary steps required for that. So we'll begin from very basic steps, very layman language. So let's start with that. The very first thing that you need to do is, so here is a search engine Google. So what you can do is just simply search free CAD. So here in the very first thing, first link you see freecadweb.org. So when you'll open this link, he'll just shift to the website of free CAD. And here you will see the necessary things are the forum, documentations, and here's download. So we enter seeing the download thing right now. So you can click here. So this is available for all the three platforms, whether it's your Windows, Mac, or Linux. So here, if you're a Windows user, here are certain links for 32-bit Windows and 64-bit version, then same for the Ubuntu, same for the Mac. But these are the versions which are available for the 0.16 version that is a stable version but there are many features that are still missing in that and developers have made many new features available in the 0.17 version so to get access to that version and that recent the latest update what you can do is just simply type here freecad 0.17 download so here in the second link that is releases free CAD in the GitHub. So when you will open this link, so you will just uh, get the website of the repositories where it is. So here you get a download of so all the 0.17 versions. You have the source code available also, and here's 0.16 also. So I basically prefer this platform to download the latest builds of the free CAD. So like you can see here. These are for the Mac. 86 means uh, your 32 bit. And then you have the version for your Windows, like 64 bit. 86 bit means the 32 only. And then you have the source code. So, like now we have the 64 bit Windows. So, for us, the latest version is this one, the FreeCAD 0.17.10473. So, to download this, what you can do is just simply click on it. Then just simply download this zip file. So when you will just download this zip, zip file, you can simply extract it. Like I can show you, I have already extracted one of this file. So you can extract it anywhere in any of your directories. Like you see, I have extracted it here. So you will get basically these four folders. If you have installed a stable version, then also these four folders, but you will get the shortcut on a desktop. In this case, uh, to get access to the exe file that is executable file you can go to the bin folder and here you will scroll down you'll get this freecad.exe which you can simply just pin on your taskbar or desktop as a shortcut so that's the basic deal if you want to download this software that's very simple so in the next in the second tutorial we will be discussing about the basic interfaces of freecad at what are the all the workbenches, the toolbars? Then further we'll be discussing about several workbenches, particularly the Arc, Sketcher, Draft, Drawing Workbench, and several others. So in this story, we'll discuss the installation process and the links from where you can download. It's a very simple process. You can go through that. If you have any questions, you can just ask me down. And you can also prefer the forum. If you see on the FreeCAD site. On the main uh, main side here you get access to the forum if you click on it you get access to the all the questions and queries basically you ask by the user on the uh, forum like help on using FreeCAD then if you are a developer you can get the developer corner then the related workbenches corner like FEM arc there are particular questions for that 
and if uh, you are a user of different languages like Japanese, Francis, Espanol, and German, they have several uh, sites for that and several columns for that. So you can ask your questions there. So see you in the next video, guys. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.